A case gone cold, a brutal murder haunting the city of Ashland three years later. As part of NBC 5's special series, Local Unsolved Mysteries, Christine Pitawanch has more on this case that's stumping investigators. Christine? Craig, Natalie, the chances of catching 23-year-old David Grubb's killer gets slimmer every single day, but tonight, hope that somewhere, someone has information that could be the key to solving this case. David was the sweetest little boy in the world. Every morning, feeling the pain that only a mother can feel outliving her child. I wake up and I have about three seconds where everything's okay, and then I remember my boy is gone. Sherry Grubbs, keenly aware of how long she's been without her son. 23-year-old David Grubbs, who was brutally murdered, nearly decapitated with a roughly foot-long knife on the Ashland bike path back in November of 2011. I don't see joy in my life anymore. Um, because even when good things happen, I know how quickly they can be taken away. And there's no joy in the still unsolved case for Ashland Police Deputy Chief Corey Falls, who remembers that cold November night like it was yesterday. I couldn't tell you what happened last November 19th or the year before that, I couldn't tell you. But, but two and a half years ago, I can tell you my whole day of events uh, from November 19th. Even almost three years later, Falls says he continues to receive sporadic tips. Even within the last uh, couple months, we've, we've gotten people that will call in and just say, I don't know if this means anything to you, but here's some information. While police are always looking for new details, no matter how small, concrete leads in Grubb's murder have gone cold, leaving Falls and other investigators angry and frustrated. We get in this job to catch bad guys. But whoever did it is still on the loose, something forensic anthropologist Dr. Steven Symes, who's worked on hundreds of high-profile national cases, hopes will change soon. He came to the Rogue Valley back in 2011 from across the country to look into the murder weapon. I rarely admit that a case impacts me that much, but uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be uh, senseless and uh, and uh, unfeeling to say that they don't affect me. Uh, this case, I'd like to see get solved, like all my cases. While Symes says he can't go into the details of the case, it just does seem like a, a, an act out of the blue. According to Symes, he's seen more random acts of violence recently than when he started about 30 years ago. There is a lot of random violence, and that that does seem to be a trend. A random killing, a belief Grubb's mom also shares. I walk down the streets in Ashland and want to grab people by the shoulders and say, there's a murderer out here. While the person responsible may have skipped town long ago, there's always a chance they could still be in the Rogue Valley. That's why police say it's important that people don't forget what happened on this bike path. Someone can come forward or come forward with that one piece of information that just, you know, breaks this open. For now, Sherry Grubbs is learning to live with the loss of her beloved David. It's a struggle every day. As she waits for closure and a break in the case to bring her son's killer to justice. Dr. Steven Symes says there could be more scientific tests conducted in the future and he's willing to do more work with the case. Meantime, Ashland police say if anyone is sitting on any information that is potentially related to David Grubb's murder, even if they believe it's minor, police still want to know about it. Visit our website, kobi5.com, for more details on this still unsolved case. Live in our iNews Center, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.